Hi, my name's uh, Julian Ridden, also known as Moodle Man, and thank you for joining me for this quick sneak peek video at the upcoming theme called Essential. One thing I like doing every time Moodle releases something new is seeing how far I can twist it and, and turn it and make it as non moodle as possible. And when Moodle 2.5 came out, it introduced a fantastic feature called Bootstrap. Now, Bootstrap is a new theme engine that was created by Twitter. Uh, and has now been integrated thanks to Baz Brands and many other developers at HQ into part of Moodle 2.5 core. And what it does is really spectacular. And so what I wanted to do was be able to take Bootstrap and rebuild upon it to make something that was functional, that was clean, uh, that was, dare I say it, sexy, but also easy enough to use and change so that you don't need IT skills. And what I came up with is this, the essential theme. So what I want to show you first is just some of the key features of it, and then I'll show you how all this is adjustable. Now first you'll notice at the top we do have a, a nice custom logo. Now this is all text that's been generated by Moodle. This is pulling in the name of your site and, uh, and the site description. Uh, we have Moodle's custom menus, as you'd expect. Uh, we've tried to keep these relatively nicely and cleanly styled. We also have social media icons. Uh, these are all customizable. Again, I'll come back to the customizations afterwards, but uh, you can actually choose six different icons. They're all showing here at the moment. In the middle, we have this fantastic marketing slider. Now, again, all this is customizable. This allows you to bring your users' uh, attention to specific items. Uh, you can put custom text in, custom images. Users can skip straight to a slide if they wish to. Use the extra arrows to move backwards and forwards or they can just let it run and it will just continue to rotate as you expect a slideshow to do. Next underneath we have three marketing boxes. Now again these are something I built because the site I was uh, originally building this for required it. These can be toggled on or off, you don't need to have it, but all these are customizable with custom icons, custom text and custom buttons and links. This again allows you to, to market certain elements such as register now or here's some information about our stuff or go to our website. And uh, again, I'll show the customization of that. Now, of course, if you use Moodle, you can always enable certain features. I've enabled the site news function uh, to show it off. Again, this is, for those of you who aren't aware, uses Moodle's forum functionality. And again, I've tried to make it a little bit cleaner and sweeter. Uh, all avatars now rounded with a slight hue. Uh, I've tried to clean up the text, open up the spacing, make it a bit easier to read. Also, in this case, I'm showing available courses. And again, it's just nice, clean, and easy to do. Now, these are all part of your typical Moodle front page settings. So these are here if you turn those on or not. And at the bottom, we have a place where we can put a bunch of additional information. Now, you can add anything here that you like. For those of you who might have figured it out already, these are blocks. People always think blocks have to go into the left or right-hand side of Moodle. But when you build a theme, you can put them anywhere. In this case, I put three blocks down the bottom. So let's go into a course and see what it looks like. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to do a quick cheat here and do a, a search. This is just a demo course I've built. And again, you'll see it's got a, a, a nice clean layout. So we still do have three columns. Uh, I know many people like to use lots of blocks. I mean, you only have two columns and enough space for that. But I have put the blocks on the right hand side. Uh, Again, this is something that's very important for me. I know this, the great thing about being a designer is you get to be opinionated, but I always want the content to be first. And if you're reading left to right, I want the content to be first, blocks to be second. And it's not in this version, but I do hope very soon afterwards that when you turn on the RTL mode for, for languages that read the opposite way, the blocks will swap automatically. Again, we've got a nice clean breadcrumb up the top. Uh, it's trying to highlight, so it puts the name course in blue to tell you this is a course and the information. And this is just a standard Moodle course. Now again, you notice each section is nicely separated. We've got a nice light background. We're using the new icons that are built into Moodle, so they're fantastic and clean. And nice and easy to move around. You also notice that the blocks on the side each have a custom icon. Uh, these icons uh, help you to quickly identify the kind of information that's inside of it. Each block in Moodle now has a custom icon that goes with it. And before you ask, no, these aren't images. This is actually using a fantastic feature we'll talk about later on called Font Awesome. But in short, it's an awesome font. It uh, loads very quickly, doesn't require lots of images to load on the page. And if I just open up a couple of activities, again, just to show you the clean layout and clean styling, uh, here is an assignment. If I open up the assignment, you'll see it's got nice clean styling uh, around it. If I want to be able to grade that assignment, I don't think I've got anything to grade here that may have been a bad thing to talk about. I'll come back to those. Uh, maybe we'll quickly show a, a forum here. 
and each of these have been designed to be nice, clean, and easy to read. So again, you can see a, a forum there. So that's a quick overview of the theme, and you can hopefully see how clean and easy it is. Now you will notice when I'm back at the front page here, I'm not seeing the administration block. I'm not seeing the, the uh, we should call it the settings now, sorry. I'm also not seeing the navigation block. In fact, what I'm going to do now is show you how customizable this is. I'm now going to log in as an administrator. So I'm going to log in. <coughs> Excuse me. And the first thing you'll see once I log in is the page will, of course, change. You will see down the bottom an admin only area. Now, this is something I've always wanted to have in Themes. Now, again, for those of you who know your way around Moodle, you do know you can go into a, a block and you can override its default permissions and make it not visible to people, but that's more than, than many users know how to do. So what I've actually done is create a whole new area you can put blocks that if added to this location, I'm logged in as admin and I can see it, but you may remember before this didn't show up, no one ever knew it existed. And this gives me a place to keep things like the administration block, the navigation block, the main menu block on the home page. In fact, let me scroll back down. It's fast to turn editing on. Let's talk about blocks on the front page here. Now again, great thing about Moodle is click and drag. I know some people had issues with custom blocks uh, in older versions of Moodle. These are all being fixed in 2.5. I've mentioned at the bottom, these are all blocks. Now these are just HTML blocks. There's my edit icon, my, my uh, uh, delete icon, my hide icon. Let's say I don't want contact us down the bottom left anymore. I can just click and drag that and bring it into the admin area. So it's just there for me to keep while I'm working on it. And instead, I might want to click and drag the logged in user block down. So I can go and click and drag that down. And you can see how automatically it's just snapped it into place. The footer has three places where you can put whatever blocks that you want. You might want to uh, add a calendar block, for instance. So again, I can take out this uh, HTML block that I created, just shove it into this area here, bring in the calendar block. Again, all blocks by default go into the middle area so that no one else can see them until I'm ready. And then I can click and drag the calendar block down. And again, you see it's automatically styled it to suit that location. So the reason I wanted to highlight this first of all is just to show how nice and customizable this front page is. And in fact, a, a cool feature, this is standard Moodle, but many people aren't aware of it. When you edit a block, you might want this to go across every page. Uh, in this case, with the footer, I'm going to find that many of these blocks I want on every page. So if you weren't already aware of it, a fantastic feature that is in uh, Moodle is I can say where this block appears, display throughout the entire site on the footer left. And that means no matter where I go on the site, this block will stay in that location. Now I'm intentionally not going to do that with calendar because I've only just added it to the front page at the moment. I haven't done that. So if I was now to uh, move to any other page, let's say uh, to my profile page for instance, there is the uh, block. <laughs> I forgot that the contact us is still on every page. I love a well prepared demo. Um, and the other ones are, you know, haven't appeared. So this gives you a lot of customization ability. But let's, I'm making up words. I do like customization ability. Let's talk about customization. How about we use English? The thing I'm most proud of about this theme is how much customization I've built into it. Now, again, if you're a, a Moodle administrator, you've always known that you had an administration area. I'll just click notifications to bring it up. This is an area that only system administrators or Moodle administrators have access to. Well, the essential theme, which under appearance shows up under themes, is actually, I think, the first thing that actually has multiple pages of settings. The idea here is to give extreme amounts of customization. If I go to general settings, I can do things such as changing the icon. Now, this is the first time I'm going to talk about Font Awesome. There are two ways you can have the top work. The first way is that it can automatically pull in your site's name and the uh, description, site description. But you might want to uh, bring in your own logo, and I'll do that separately in a second. This icon up the top here, again, is not a graphic, it's part of the font. And all you have to do is just enter the name of the icon you want to display. And as it says here, if you click on this, it opens up in a new tab, and it brings up a list of all the icons that are available. There are a huge amount of icons, um, over 300 at the moment. So maybe instead of the laptop, I want to have a picture of a camera. Maybe I'm doing a camera course. 
Most of these are rather obvious. In this case is called icon camera. So all I do is come into here, type in the word camera. And when I hit save, it will go through and, uh, and adjust that. Now, of course, it's just cached at the moment. So if I just go back to the home page, so it's going to refresh. You can now see it's put the, uh, the camera theme in, a uh, camera icon in. It's a fantastic feature I've introduced to allow people who aren't you know, image people, who aren't good at Photoshop, to be able to quickly and easily have something that's still them. And with that set of icons that are available, and the fact that you can put your own name and tag in there at the top through your uh, standard Moodle settings, will give lots of options. Of course, many do have their own logo. In fact, I'm going to choose one that I've got prepared already. Uh, if I want to come in here, and I'm just going to click and drag in a, a Moodle logo. There it is. When I again hit Save Changes, instead of showing that default one, it will now go through and automatically put the Moodle logo in. In fact, I've done it uh, in a way so again, you don't have to have lots of experience. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go through here and uh, grab one of my company logos. I sort of work for uh, a company called Pukanui. Now this logo is actually quite large. It's much larger than that spot. I've designed this theme so again you don't need to be an expert in all things. When I click and drag the logo in and hit save, the theme is smart enough to automatically resize it for the spot. So there it goes. So uh, that's icon and logo. You can also change the colour. Now, if I was to go back to Moodle for a second, you know, this is great, this is all shades of blue and I like that. But maybe I'm going to be doing uh, my Moodle logo after all. So if I just go back to my folder here, grab in my Moodle logo. Instead of having this whole theme in shades of blue, I might want instead to have shades of orange. So uh, I'm going to choose a new orange colour. I'm going to hover over things, make it go dark orange. In fact, while I'm here, I can also add a custom copyright notice. Um, you know, this is your know, Moodle Gurus, that's the name of my company. Um, I can put custom footnotes in, and the moment I hit save, the entire theme will now take on a completely new style. So here we have it. Now we have, <laughs> I love a bug, um, that happened because I clicked too uh, fast. So now we've now got everything in shades of orange, we've got a new Moodle logo up the top. If I hover over things, we get that nice dark orange that's showing up all just through a theme setting. So again, you can see how quickly you can customize this. Let's talk about the other elements you can customize. The front page slideshow, you've already seen it happening a few times, is also completely customizable. Uh, you can choose to display this on mobiles or not. I haven't talked about the cool thing about this theme in mobiles. Again, I'll come back to it. You can also give each of your slides information. So here's my slide one title, image, caption, and link. Putting this information allows me to go through and say the first slide is um, all about us. I can have a map there, type in custom text, and then link it maybe to a web page or to something inside my Moodle site. Again, you can just click and drag your images in. I won't demonstrate it again, but this is using standard Moodle functionality. And just by hitting save, those changes will now be in motion. Now, I did talk uh, just a second ago about Show on Mobiles. This theme is built on Bootstrap. One of the features of Bootstrap is it is responsive. Responsive means that regardless of screen size, it will automatically fit itself. So what you're seeing here at the moment, I just, just go back to slide one so you can see it. So here's my slide one, you know, all about us. That's now changed and updated. If I was on a tablet, well, tablets are this wide. If I'm on a mobile phone, a mobile phone is this wide. Now, you'll notice that it's all changed. The slide has automatically scaled itself to fit. The custom menu has now become a drop down to make it more easily accessible. Those blocks that were going across the page are now going vertically. The links underneath, the theme automatically scales itself and refits itself to suit the resolution of the screen that it's on, which means if you're on a, a tablet, well, a tablet still doesn't have room for the entire menu, but I can fit all these things in, but it's narrowed those blocks a bit. And of course, if I'm back to being on a full size screen, again, it's already adjusted. And of course, the reason I mention that is that the sliders aren't always going to work best on mobiles. If you don't want this to show up on a mobile screen, I can go do not display. Now when I hit save, even though on a desktop, sorry, that's again, I apologize, that's happening because I'm clicking things too fast. 
So yes, even on a front page, I'm seeing it now, if I'm on a mobile, it's automatically disappeared. So again, all extremely customizable, so you can change it to suit what it is that you need to build. So that's our slides. We also have what's called the marketing spots. Now, I couldn't come up with a better name, but these are built for marketing. Now, again, you don't have to have them. You can turn them off. But I, I built this thing because maybe you might want to highlight certain things that they're offering. And again, all you have to do is give it a name. Go you know, um, about us. And I can say, you know, find out more about what makes us tick. Contact us today if you need more information. So I can put my own custom blurb, and again, I can use these fantastic, awesome icons. And again, if I click, I've already got it open, so I'll just click over here at the moment. I'm going, well, this is about us. So let's try and find an icon that's a little bit more about us. Maybe there's an information icon. Again, the great thing is that they're mostly common sense. You can usually find them pretty quickly. Uh, in fact, if I do a search for information, it's alphabetically listed here. There is an info sign. So it's called Icon Info Sign. I'm just going to copy that word info sign. I could have typed it if I wanted to. Change that to info sign. Now again, there are three spots. I'll just change the first one. I can change the text of the button. So more about us. And again, enter a custom link. I'm going to leave that as blank for now. Again, the moment I change that, the theme will update to reflect it. I go back to home. And now we have about us. New information icon, a short blurb, and then that button which will go to whatever URL I point it towards. So again, highly customizable, highly flexible. The last area we have is the social networking. Now again, many organizations use Facebook or Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Flickr. Again, all you have to do is type in the URL. And I just put in a hash because I don't have addresses I'm going to populate right now. But by putting a hash in there, it's created a URL for these and therefore they've shown up. Let's say I don't have YouTube, I don't have LinkedIn, but I do use Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Flickr. By entering in URLs for each of those, and please note there are samples here of, of how the URL should look. The, again, the moment I hit save, I've got three services being listed. Come back to the home page and now it's got links to those three services and it just updates on the fly. So that's a quick introduction to Essential. Essential is currently in beta. You can grab it from the Moodle forums. Uh, you can also grab it from my GitHub account. It's github.com slash Moodleman and there you'll find a link for Essential. As you can see, it, it, it's working, but I'm not going to be bug free, so hence it's in beta. However, I would love more people to test it. If you've got uh, suggestions, ideas, ways we can make this better, please let me know. Uh, I hope to release it in the plugins database in the next month or so. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the theme, find good uses for it, and do hit up the Moodle forums if you need uh, any more help or information. Thank you again.